Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to do an introduction on the method on how to solve parallelogram. When we are given a question, there are two types. One, the question will state that it is a quadrilateral. The second type of question will say that it is a parallelogram. Now, what happens when they have these two different types of questions? If they ask you, prove that it is a parallelogram. So they say, I'm giving you a quadrilateral. You must prove that it is a parallelogram. Now, in order for you to prove that a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, you have to do a few things. Now, remember the rules I'm giving you means you have to prove only one of the rules. You don't need to prove all of the rules. Now the first one is that you prove that the opposite sides are parallel. The second one is that you prove that the opposite sides are equal. The third one is that you prove that the diagonals bisect. Fourth one is that the opposite angles are equal. And the fifth one is that one side is parallel and equal. Now, if I give you a quadrilateral and you can prove that any of this is equal, then that would be a parallelogram. However, sometimes they would give you a parallelogram and they would ask you to prove that any one of these five are true. Now when they ask you to do that, you can use the information they give you, but you may not use what they want. Now that sounds a bit silly. Like if I give you an example, if I give you a drawing, I would give you that maybe the, the lines are parallel and now you need to prove to me that, listen, I want you to prove to me that the angles are also equal. So I didn't give you all the information of the parallelogram. So what they're saying is when they limit you and they tell you, listen, you have to prove the rest, then you can't just throw it in. You have to go by step by step and start using things like congruency, that's why you learnt it in grade 9. You have to use things like your parallel lines. But you have to prove that the remainder of the properties is true. So you can't just use those properties. Okay, now let us discuss the parallelogram. Okay, if you look at the parallelogram and I tell you that, listen, this is a parallelogram. There are certain qualities that a parallelogram has. Number one, the opposite sides are parallel. That is how come it is one of the reasons to say a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So therefore, AD is parallel to BC or AB is parallel to DC. The second one is that the opposite sides are equal. So AB would equal to DC and AD would equal to BC. The third one is that the diagonals bisect. So AP would equal to PC. This is now the diagonals. So AP is equal to PC and DP is equal to PB. Remember we have the sides that are equal and now we have the diagonals that are equal. Then we have that the opposite angles are equal. That means that the entire of A is equal to C. A is equal to C and the entire of B is equal to 
D. If you know the properties of a parallelogram, you will be fine. Remember, these are the properties of a parallelogram. In order to prove that a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, you must prove one of the above. So in other words, if I give you a drawing and you can prove that the opposite sides are parallel, immediately you can tell me, hey, it's a parallelogram. If, you, if I give you a quadrilateral and I tell you, listen, the opposite angles are equal, immediately you can say, hey, it's a parallelogram. If, however, I give you a parallelogram with limited information and I ask you to prove another quality, you can't say, yes, it's a parallelogram, so therefore that is a quality of a parallelogram, so it's true. You have to go and use your congruency or your parallel line to prove that that quality is true. Thank you for watching.